Hello. We're going to continue the uh, Celestial Tower and the Shadow Witch today, but first we're going to run a few dungeons. I am perpetually falling behind on the dungeons. I have to. I swear they must have boosted the amount of these uh, the Miglance magic you receive or something permanently because I've only really been farming this for like a week and I'm almost done. Uh, I don't know though. It's uh, It's been a long time but I swear I had to spend way more time farming. On your knees and surrender in the uh, original at its original place. Original Did you see my yeah. back when it released? Moves. I remember it being a lot slower, but I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they reduced the requirements on the old content to get newcomers up to speed faster. Otherwise, the game just gets really intimidating that's to, that's uh... Oh, Sawyer, why? Why is your voice like that? Uh, she's so adorable, but her voice is so... ...that. Get on your knees and surrender! <sighs> Makes me sad. <laughs> Sawyer is actually one of my favorite, it was um... My royal duty. I don't like Miyu's voice either, but I don't... Um, it's up here because I need her for bonus Miglance magic. But Sora is just so adorable, and I love her. I love her armor design. I love her. I love her whole look. I love how purple and green she is. Why is her voice such an abomination? Is what she is better in Japanese? Return, yet I still fight. I mean, I, I guess maybe maybe if I'm lucky, one day, one day she'll get five star or a. Uh, Style. But she does share the role of Miglance personality Lancer with Bertrand, and he's already a five star with him. So, I don't know if there's really any place for her. But she's so adorable! I've gotten pretty decent at running through this. This is the uh, hard version, not the very hard version. It's a little. Slightly different if I do the hard one. The very hard one I have to eat food before I fight the uh storm. I'm sorry. Yeah, gate trial. The very large Miss Golem boss. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna run at least a couple of these. Um got a bunch of green keys that I've been trying to use and I'm really bad about it, but once I get it under control, I think it'll be a lot easier to keep on top of the uh, dungeon run. Especially because once we finish this one, we're gonna need to pretty much immediately switch to the Celestial Tower, unless I go back to farming light on Cyrus, which I probably should do because I'm not getting it. So I think once we finish running, once we finish running the Labyrinth, we're switching we're back to uh, the man -eater. Actually, wait a minute. I have to keep checking because I don't want to run it when I don't need to run it because as much as it would be nice to have Shadow on Deirdre, it's just so not worth running for me. Let's see what we've got. Okay, we still have 30,000. 30, and then I believe we hit the last reward. And we get, we're, uh, the saving up the chance scripts from this will be really handy because then we can use them to upgrade Gary. We can get him. He'll probably be quite a pain to get, actually. It's really good. Uh, we have these two in the back line because we'll need them for the uh, Celestial Tower uh, dungeon. Uh, so I wanted to level them up a bit before that, so they won't be quite as much a dead weight. Because it's a higher, it's a bit higher level dungeon, I think. At least, um, quest line is a bit higher level. Tiramis can't one-shot everything, so... I think we'll need a more competent crew to be able to get through the, uh... 
excuse me, get through the Celestial Tower. And uh, AD. But for now, we just gotta finish up this run. I think there's a chest down here. You're a fool to challenge me! Aramis makes short work of all these poor unfortunate mobs. What is lost can never return, yet I still It's very fight. convenient for me. Is we can really kind of power her way through the entire on uh, like global on on launch story. Uh, with with some support for some of the later bosses, but she can really hold her own. Did you see my graceful move? Quite strong. Of course, then she falls off massively against bosses. But still great for for regular. I'm trying to remember which floor this is. The one where the chest is over there. So go grab it. The next floor. It was my royal duty. You don't want everyone to know, princess. You should not say that that was your royal duty. Not very bright. This is going pretty well. I've been running this a lot. Mostly on very hard because you get more magic points. I want to finish up running. I wanted to finish up getting. Which I was working on earlier. And it was time to stream. But for the moment, I wanted to finish up a couple of this. What is lost can never return. Yet Deirdre I is still cool. fight. Why can't you be cool like Deirdre? I don't think being cool like Deirdre would fit Soira though. But does she have to be annoying? Because she's quite annoying, and I would prefer it if she wasn't. I don't know. I, I don't know why like her personality is being cheerful and sleepy, so why does she sound so annoying? I mean they probably the battle aren't going. Is starting. That's what that's what it comes off as. Let's so Pao and Drino are back and we're leveling them up for future dungeons and uh, running the Lustial Tower quests. We'll probably keep them in the party just for additional points while running the mission quest as well. Yeah. Can't remember. I think you get No one can defeat a dragon summoner! <laughs> Excuse me, I know that the guys in the Vega Forest drop, um, drop the points for that episode. Not sure about in the tower, the Dogma Tower. Your challenge. Take that. But uh, we, will, we will see. We Did will you find see out today. My graceful moves? Because today we will continue. So the... We will continue. At snoring. What is lost can never return. Yet I still fight. That is that my that cat is a loud snorer. Get distracted. Okay. So we'll continue the Celestial Tower in the Shadow Witch. We just entered the Dogma Tower last time. We'll pick up there. Uh, that's pretty much all I kind of have planned. If we immediately run into a roadblock of not having enough points to advance to the next level of the uh, Celestial Tower episode, we'll probably just start another episode. I'm supposed to eat food before I go into this battle, but it's... Take that. Because um, Karamis does not have enough AP. MP to kill this. I have not leveled those poor people. <laughs> I've not I, I've not given these poor guys their uh, ability points at all. They, uh, they're in a sad state. She needs to go back line. You guys just hold down the fort. You back line. Dead, you can't level up. Stop having her cast binding shield. 
Deirdre is actually doing pretty decent damage now. She's great. I'm I'm working on I'm gonna she's gonna probably be part of party. I give enough time, she could actually finish this off. But she'd do better with the support, which she doesn't have, to heal her, so. Theramis is here to back her up. I mean, she's really more the backup for Theramis, but... There, she got it. Good work, Deirdre. You can tell she's amazing? Purple. That may be massively biased on my part. I am very fond of purple. Like, Sawyer's purple hair is beautiful, because it's like a blue-purple, like... Her hair is kind of a red purple, which is not my favorite shade of purple. But her armor is very cool. That armor. Oh! Got a white gate! Cool. What that is. Not doing that. Okay. Well, I'll actually run this uh, gate. See what's. See what our luck is today. I mean, even if we made it all the way to the end, I don't really know what we'd take. to see if we have any more scrolls to feed our people. Probably Nakoko. Give us a badge, little king cat. Look at his mustache. This cat has a massive mustache. Fighting like katana. Huh? Oh, wait, I should check. Say, I think I only got like three more stamps. Needed one. Oh. Oh, oh, no, I can't, can't miss my kitty stamp. Deirdre, you must be cute with the kitties. I I love the look of this whole plains. It's just it's so pretty. There's not much reason to go there after you do the quests there and stuff, but well, I guess you got a fish. It's lovely though. Your script. Well, I guess at least I can get some murmur scripts off this, because I don't have enough murmur scripts to upgrade. It was Amy I wanted to get to four stars, and I did not have enough murmur scripts. So hopefully we can get her going. Ah, we've reached, we've reached the end. By that I mean we didn't get to go to the good end, we reached the other end. Hello there, Grimthorpe. Running a couple dungeons. Collecting cat paw stamps. This is the Phantom Crystal Dimension dungeon thing. We run it whenever we get a ticket for it, because you can only have one ticket for it at a time, and you randomly get them sometimes after you finish a dungeon. BRB, gotta grab Brecky. Mmm. Go get yourself some delicious breakfast. Oh, I should have acquired- oh wait, I was gonna say acquired the mail, but this isn't the mail. This is okay, we've we've finished the two knights and the holy sword. That means we can disband this party. Need this party anymore, so we will just take it apart. I don't have a character I use as the, I usually have a character, and by I usually have a character, I mean on mobile. I just if I have a party with no one in it, I just put um, Mariel in it and no one else. But I guess we'll just do that with Cyrus here because we do not have Mariel. Leave this one blank for now. Not allowed to take everyone out of the party. Name do nothing. Mark. No. no name. Change. I don't know how to make. I don't know how to make it go back to being nothing. Miglant's castle party. Story plus Theramis. Leveling. Okay. Oh, oh, we can see if we can upgrade Amy now. I think it's Amy. Yeah, she's still stuck at three stars. Let's see if we can get her to four stars. We might, we might have enough murmurs now for her. Yeah, we do. There we go. Four star Amy.
need to run. I forget which dungeon. I think it's the Beast King Castle we gotta run to get. Ine's Town? Unless it's. No, that's her shadow. I don't know if it's. Is she shadow? Shadow. Yeah, she's shadow. Unless her tomes might come from Nadara Volcano for some reason. Well, her four star. Okay. So. That is still three stars. I don't even run her dungeon. Back. Good to see you back, Grimcorp. 101. We just finished running the dungeon for uh, the Miglance Labyrinth dungeon for Miglance Magic Points. We don't have to do that anymore. Now we're back on our Celestial Tower crew. Need these guys for the Celestial Tower. Cyrus. Aramis to help kill things. Uh, Nico goes here to support, and then this slot we can kind of just put whoever in. Uh, I had Nika, but I'm actually going to switch her for Deirdre. Because Deirdre is actually pretty strong now. She's one of our high level people. Be much stronger if we ever get her to when say if when when we someday get her to five stars she'll be quite strong we go fully upgraded for now skills all set up right yep she's set up for now she does she does all right damage i should actually check her weapon she's uh she got yeah, you get all those weapons because you're stronger than him. And let's see if we've got a better power badge since we gave her this one. Probably not, because we don't get very many badges, especially because running the Labyrinth on hard. Uh, we don't. Oh, yeah. Uh, I guess we've got some of uh, these. We, got, we must have got some of these badges from the cat stamps. So she's doing, she's doing pretty well. This is going to be our Celestial Tower team for now, because it has all the people we need for this tower. Let's see... No. Pressing party. I need map. <laughs> okay. We're going to Antiquity. Eventually. The map loads. Come on. Do it. Oh wait, no, we're actually in the present day. I forgot. We were in, uh... We were in the Dogma Tower, which didn't exist in antiquity. It was built since then. There we go. Dogma Tower. Yes. Trouble. Here we are. This is where we were last time. Looking at this... Uh, sinisterly glowing plant. I can handle and this fighting mummies and armadillo creatures. We're in the past where Kiru and Glar. <laughs> Clearly, we're in the wrong past. Hurt oh. Nikoko. I could have handled it myself. I have to run a heal ability next. We did our first Dogadillo. Our first Mammy. I feel like there's something that she's apparently not yet. Like made atheist. Mm. Got a little cat scratch fever. Goko, you need to do the healing attack. Because you took damage. <laughs> I need to stop <laughs> clicking all over the screen when I uh, don't need to, but I really like to. <laughs> But I imagine it's a- it's a wee bit annoying. I think some of the enemies- I was gonna say I think some of the enemies in this are weak to Earth, but then I was like, no wait, that's- that's the enemy from Deirdre's thing. I think these guys are actually listed to Earth. Again, okay. Next swing. <laughs> nah. Disperse. It's not annoying. No one that's could good. defeat a dragon summoner! 
They usually can't defeat you. That is true, Deirdre. I feel like I'm supposed to do something with these statues, but I don't know what. I it's can handle it's this been alone. a long time. I played this... I played through the Shadow... the Celestial Tower and the Shadow Witch back in... November 2019. It's one of the only things I remember when it released because I played it immediately. This is Cyrus. And also because I was in Estonia I and Finland and with I sword. caught the flu and had to stay in bed. Very exciting for a trip to Got the flu and had to... Luckily, we don't have to go up the individual floors because this tower is massive. It'd be really funny if they said each other's lines sometimes. Imagine Cyrus saying Tiramis's line. Uh, that would that would be fun. Slouch. I will it's not slouch. Take care of this. Look at them go. One of the advantages of no longer having to run the uh, the labyrinth dungeon is I no longer need to listen to Soira. I mean, I didn't have to run Soira in the front line, no one can except that I was running Reno and uh, No Pow in the back. We have No Pow. I think I forgot to put him in. Forgot to put No Pow in. Gotta drop somebody for No Pow. I'm sorry, Deirdre. Hammer user. Yep, there he is. Okay. Forgot he's the uh, he's the character from this uh, quest line. Of course we need him. I'll do my best. I'll punish you. <laughs> Bow down to the cocoa. Yeah. Yes, we can't we can't abandon the small plant Jawa. Small plant Jawa child needs needs to be taken care of. I don't think Plant Jawa is what they're going for, but it's kind of what I see. Luckily, uh, Nikoko and Cyrus seem to hit hard enough to usually cl clean up anyone who, uh... Tiramis can't finish off. Which is good. So it's a little sad that Tiramis can't wipe out everyone. Because she's hit the limit on her, uh her ability again. We managed to get her up to this one before the one where she deals 5,000 damage started to be too weak. Dark Residue. That's what we need to come for this one. And I believe that the Sh Celestial Tower and Shadow Witch is notorious for how much you have to grind it to complete the rewards. Uh, I don't remember it being particularly bad, but I also am very used to playing grindy games. Weak. Could just be no one can defeat a dragon that summoner. I am way too used to massive amounts of grinding, and I should not accept it, but I do because I'm used to it. I'm not sure how many floors we have to go up, but uh, eventually we'll get somewhere. I was about to say you're not a good yardstick in that regard. No, I am very bad. I. Uh, I play very grindy games. I even make games that aren't necessarily grindy. Grindy. Pretty sure Terraria and Minecraft aren't about collecting massive stacks of all the resources, but uh... You wouldn't know that from the way I play them. Ah! Wow. He's scared. Fear not, we will protect you. He's gotta heal. Oh, we need to level Cyrus up a little more because he'll get an attack that deals additional damage when the uh, target has pain and he can inflict pain, so. Coco, heal the child. Once it curls up like that, I think it massively resists the damage. I don't know why I ran into this thing, because I don't actually know if we can fight it. I guess it was just there and I went, sure, let's fight. 
level the frog daddy? Of course. The best frog daddy. Arr! Uh, shift cat hook again? Please stop rolling and hitting everyone, it's the most rude. Stop! Stop curling yourself into a stupid ball! I can't hit you! Okay, we'll bring Brain out of the front because I guess he has an acceptable amount of health. Get Deity Guardian, Water Slash. Leave the rest to me. I think something triggers it to do that, uh, but I don't know what. I should, but I don't. See, it comes out and then it gets hit. Okay, I think after it rolls, maybe it comes out. If we swap both of you guys to the back line, they'll pop out and they'll run away. Doesn't Tiramis have an attack that ignores resistances? Yes, but she ran out of MP. <laughs> oh, now Nakoko is one. Okay, Nakoko, swap with Tiramis. Don't underestimate what a dragon summoner can do. Okay, time to start doing things. Goodness, yeah, she, uh, her fixed damage is not enough to really deal that much damage to this guy. Oh, Cyrus is here. So he can come back to the front line. See, her fixed damage is just not that high with her second level of her ability. We really need to get up to the third level. We'll probably, yeah, we'll, uh, actually... He'll run you to the front, and... I don't think I actually want any of those others on the front, because I don't think I gave them any abilities, so they won't... They'll be a nuisance in another force. We're gonna try and AF this down. It's just me tapping four a whole bunch, because that's where I put the abilities I use. She should deal, every time she uses her true, her ultra, with her twin dragons, it gets stronger. There. Okay, that did a good amount. Epic Twin Dragons. Yeah, it does more damage each time, I think. Something like that. So. Yeah, we got that handled. Bow down to Nakoko. It was not ideal, but we did it. Thanks to the power of Nakoko. Not Nakoko. Oh, actually, Nakoko did really help. She kept them from wiping. Nakoko and Tiramis really pulled us through that. I need to eat food. So actually, between them, yeah, between them, they can wipe from doing that, so that's good moves. too. I don't like to use up my food too quickly, though. These are the times that make me really, really sad that we don't have to, though. I'm- I don't- I know she's not the greatest. I massively relied on Tuba. In my... Golden mobile- mobile days of playing this. She was my first five star. Oh no! I was dying. She was my first character to level 80 too. I think Lokito was my other first five star. I have either of them, so. I'll get, I'll get all nostalgic if we ever pull them. And I'll probably use them even though these people are way better. Okay, we're still alive. We're still alive. Time to eat the food, though. Food. Come to me. Thank you. Dogma Tower is huge. Running alright? Or is it... Uh, is it lagging? I might be lagging. I would prefer it to not do that. That goes. No, that does not wipe out the mummies. We'll just uh, smack this mummy down and fix our fix our attacks for the next one. On the next one. 
the ability to save your attacks between battles is amazing because before that existed, you would have just had to switch Tiramis to her whichever wave clear you're using every single time. Uh, it's amazing for lazy people such as myself. It's not so great for boss fights though, where I have to, where I want to switch between a lot. Necessar not necessarily start out with certain. But I'm also not that good at boss fights. I'm. I try to improve. Sometimes I think I'm improving, and then I run into a new boss, and I'm like, nope, I have not improved. I was trying yesterday. I was trying to defeat Iska AS's uh, manifest weapon second fight. I, I do not know how to do that. I fight twice, or, or maybe three times. Not stand up to, like, massive quantities of damage she can do. More dark residue. And now we get to go up to the next level of the Celestial Tower. Or the Dogma Tower. I don't know why it has two different names. We're gonna do this. Hopefully heal up. Yeah, there we go. Heal up the poor little no doubt. It took a bunch of damage. Gotta protect the child. I mean, we're gonna take the child into combat, but we should protect him in combat. It's the right thing to do. I'll do my best. Come on. These guys are dirty. I'm not sure what they're weak to. Just know they resist wind. Maybe weak to fire? We have that does fire. Not all though. Not all though for fire. Okay, there's the next. Look on these statues. They, like, I feel like I need to give them glowing orbs. I feel like they should all be holding glowing orbs, and they're not, and I want to give them I don't have any. You will fall to my blade. Take that. It's, uh, it's a big deal, I know. Yes. Very important stuff. I won? We will go over there right after we go loot the rest of this floor. So I suspect we're gonna have a dark residue. Uh, wall soon, where we'll need to have a certain amount of dark residue to advance to the next level. You're a fool to challenge me. Uh, hopefully, we will be able to have enough. I don't know if they reduced it or not. I I swear they reduced the amounts you needed, or they either reduced the amounts you needed or increased how much you get. For uh, well, I think they definitely increased how much you you get for the um two knights and the holy sword because. We didn't have all the characters, we just had Deirdre, Mia, and Soira, and we, we already managed to get all the all the rewards from it, so. That, that seemed really fast. We'll also need to run, once we get, once we do... Yeah, once we do... I should stop doing that when I don't need to heal. Yeah, she's having okay again. I'm sorry, Nokoko. I like how the Nopao's eyes glow. I don't know if they do it so much. It's cool. They kind of get lighter and darker. All the Nopao do it. Okay. Choking vines. Mom? Mom, are you here? Huh? There's a door here that's all thorny. Don't touch it. Ack. You okay? Y yeah, I'm fine. It looks like it looks to be a magical barrier. I sense great power within it. You were lucky not to get hurt. I don't think his eyes do the glowing when we're walking around. Huh? Aldo, what did you just do? I didn't do anything. Magical barrier has weakened. I think it reacted with the black dust which drops from the fallen monsters. Can we get closer to it now? No, that's too risky. Sometimes you need to take a risk to make progress. I say we try to approach the door carrying some of the black dust. Let me try it. But 
It's okay, Radica. If things go south, I'll step back immediately. Okay, go ahead then. Just in case, everybody stand well away from the door. Everyone cluster massively around the door. Go. See uh, if we have enough. This is the first one, so hopefully its requirement isn't too high. The thorns disappeared. Unbelievable how we managed to dispel a powerful magical barrier just like that. What could be the reason? To me, it looked as if two opposing forces cancelled each other out. Almost as if... You can write your thesis on it later. What matters now is that we can pass through, so let's get moving. Mom! Keep wanting to read that as Moom. Alright. Okay, guys, let's keep going. Keep your eyes open for Medusa. She may be close. Yes, let us go kill Medusa. I mean, that is the natural progression. Go up the tower, and you kill something. Ball has an unusual pattern. Huh? How do I take this? Oh. Ah! Made it full screen. Game vanished. Mouse broke! Your mouse broke, and also my game is not showing up suddenly. Why is it- why is the gameplay not showing up? Because I actually- oh, there we go. I say, is it because I actually made it full screen? I think I upset it. Now, now you're really gonna have to get a new mouse, Grimthorpe. Fixed your mouse? Or I fixed the stream. Just wanna... Screenshot. Whatever, I'll just have to look it up. Casual. For these statues, screen, mouse is no good. I have an extra mouse if you want one. Uh, I use it for my art computer. Hmm, I don't think so. And by I use it for my art computer, I mean I use it when I'm not using headphones or a keyboard. Look at their pained expressions, the level of detail. These haven't been carved. Deuce's gaze is said to turn people to stone. That's what happened in the ballad too. While ballads are not the most reliable sources of information, I trust them here. Reno is cool. Also, he's purple. All of these are Medusa's victims? If so, she is indeed a fearsome monster and a threat that should be eliminated. Please tell me your mom isn't among them. Uh-uh, she's not. Yeah, ha 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 you haven't forgotten about me, have you? Who goes there? Come to get himself killed, I'm sure. You fools, you're soon going to join the ranks of those stone statues. Treasure hunter from before. I've been following you. You cleared the way for me, saving me a lot of work. It's Medusa's ruby you're hoping to find here, is that correct? You're not your competition. You're free to take the gem after we defeat Medusa. Our objective has nothing to do with that precious stone. I can see through your lies. But unlike you, I'm well prepared to face Medusa. This badge will protect me from her petrifying gaze. As for you, well, enjoy your new life as geological curios. He dropped his badge. How careless. Ow. Stone resistance badge. Hold on, isn't this the badge he was talking about? We better let him know before it's too late. By that, I mean, let's look at who in our party has a status cleanse and give it to them. I don't think anyone in this party has a status cleanse. Do you have a status cleanse, no pal? I think you do. Really convenient if you did, though. Stuck in two towers right now. Swap him to the back line. I don't think Nakoko has a status cleanse, which is a pity because... Actually, no, wait, I think she does. I think she does have a status cleanse. Come on, Nakoko. Healing prayer. Restore all statuses. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, Nakoko, I have to take your uh, XP badge away so that you can be protected from being turned into stone. There we go. Bard! 
Sad. Sad person. Various other people. Oh, very sad. I mean, I'd be very upset if I saw Medusa and got turned to stone as well. Be most un un unhappying. That is not a word. I don't. I don't think unhappying is a word. It doesn't seem like. It. Brah, my badge. Where is my badge? He's dead. Brat, we're too late. He brought it on himself. He really did. Can't let this monster harm any more people. Time to lay it to rest. My nose is itchy. That guy won't need his badge anymore. One of us should use it. Worry not all, though. I'm several steps ahead of you. I'd say because I'm a genius, but it is in fact because I've just played this before and I actually remember it. Because I love it. You have the slight problem that we don't have food. Okay, we got a, 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 an award. Medium class scrolls. Coco! We have scrolls to feed you. Eat them, my cat, cat, cat specter child. Eat them. Mm. Soon she will catch up with Tiramis. I think she's only one level below Tiramis now. She's level 60, and I think Tiramis is level 60. Oh no, and Tiramis is level 60. They're close, though. I would feed more scrolls to Cyrus, but since he's capped at level 60 right now, that makes me a bit sad, and it feels a bit... Less. Can't give her that ability yet. Gotta... We merely need to, uh... Do a whole bunch of other stuff. No, we merely need to- that is not what- We nearly need to clear main story chapter 53. Look on. No. Poking me? Okay. We are clearly not ready for this. Time to do it anyway. Major trailer or trial awaits you beyond this point. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ha, ha, ah. Uh. I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. Okay. Oh, you can walk. Warg, warg. Someone is very sad. Presumably Medusa. Kiss. Here we have Medusa. She's coming. Get ready, guys. I'm scared, but I'll fight with you. Very brave of you, Oh. Uh, your abilities are sad. They're all actually quite sad, except for, uh... Not the poison snakes. Let's see, maybe... It, we might be able to use some tactical swapping around... To debuff them a little bit. Underestimate what a dragon summoner can do! Believe it's in a Coco! Coco, that the guardian. That summoner's gift. <laughs> Gonna be rough. Okay, those guys are weaker than the regular poison snakes, that's good. Bully the snake waifu. I will. I'm good at bullying. Do you need to un. I need to unstone her so that we can start uh, actually doing things. Yeah. 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 
So let's swap you for Cyrus. Pet Deity Guardian. Actually, we're gonna Summoner's Gift again. Oh! Healing Prayer, Water Slash. Everyone's back. Okay, we're gonna do... Four, four, three, four, 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 four. I forgot. Coco doesn't have a four. Not a Coco. A Lulu. We're just gonna mess this up a bit. But we'll manage. Oh yeah, she has some MP restore as well. I forgot about that. We never got off our cat duty. Swap you with Brino, swap you with them. I think these guys aren't contributing much damage. The main thing I should do with them is just swap them back and forth to get their VCs. Hiss, hiss. Buffing herself. Okay, and down. Power down. You're very cool, Brino, but you are stuck at the Sorry about that. Gotcha. Oh! Got really long arms. And they're floppy. I don't like how long and floppy her arms are. Okay, pain pain the status went away. We want to reapply that, so she takes some damage. Take that! This is okay. Wanna swap? Cyrus. Oh, no pal. And, uh, since no one's frozen, we'll just have you do it. Oh no! No pal is down! Not the child. I am here for your soul! Okay, well, frontline Brino. Shift cap up. And dragon soul taker. <laughs> Leave the rest to power me. down. We definitely need to take the power down because it keeps buffing herself. Fine. Kitty Guardian, Oblivion. I'm not really sure what that does. Oh, okay. It's nice. Prayer. Dragons. Water Slash. Stop murdering my poor little weak children, people. And they're not all children. That's an adult. That is a child. I'm not sure about it. Oh, I think she's a child. Okay, when it summons poison snakes, that's better because... Uh, she's not doing anything else when she's summoning poison snakes. It's gift. Cat Deity Guardian. Flat Strike. Please, please, please don't wait. Oh, even Cyrus didn't die. It's a glorious day. Dragons. Cat Hook. Flat Strike. We were just relying on Jeremus before, but now we're kind of relying on the Tiramis plus the Coco combo. Finally, it is done. What? Thank you. The Setaka, finally. As an amphibian, I find reptiles rather terrifying. This the ruby. Mm. I don't like it. Our only hope is in asking the witch for help. Let's do this, Rildy, please. No, Sataka, I don't want to cling to life if that's going to be the cost. This is simply wrong. I know that there have been nothing but bad rumors about her since she became known as the Dark Witch. Before that, she was called the Green Witch, respected by the Guardians of the Forest and loved for her pure, kind heart. 
Maybe the recent rumors are untrue and she is a well-meaning witch. Please, Rildy, let's seek her help. Dun, dun, dun. God. want me to cure this young lady. It can be done. Look at her. She's so fancy. Love her outfit. I can also bestow on her resilience to ailments of all kinds. It would be a shame if I cured her only for her to get sick again, no? No need to offer me anything in return. You've come such a long way to this forest just to see me, after all. I'm certain you want this. Perfect. I shall now begin. Ah, uh, no. Sataka, get away from me. Rildy? Rildy, what's happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As promised, I've made her immune to illness and even granted her immortality. You can now you can now enjoy an eternity together. Isn't it wonderful? I think you owe me thanks. Rildy, no. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Run away, Sataka. The power within me, I cannot control it. Use is Ruby acquired. What was that vision? I think those were Medusa's memories. That was completely different from the ballad. I told it to you exactly as I heard it. It must have changed over the time as people forgot the original and filled the gaps using their own imagination. In the end, it became an entirely different story. Recognize that villainous witch. Her face has been etched into my memory ever since I was cursed with this form. She is my nemesis and the enemy of the Palsiful royal family, a traitor so wretched no punishment would be too great. It was her without a shadow of a doubt. Yes, it is definitely her. Witch Reptiras. Witch Reptart. Did I have her name wrong all this time? I was so sure the name from the children's song was correct. It seemed that both of us have been seeking the same witch right from this from the beginning. I remember now. That's what Dad called Mom, Reptiras. He spoke to her so gently with love, but I couldn't speak yet at the time, so I don't remember what he was saying. I can scarcely believe it. Pyrrhus is your mom. I think so. But my mom wasn't a bad person. The grudge I hold against Reptiras runs deep. I can never forgive her for what she has done, even if she is your mother. You guys have fun discussing all these surprising revelations, but I'll be going. I thought this Medusa was an ancient monster created by my ancestors, but she turned out to be something else. Oh well. In any case, the rest of this story is of no interest to me. He's just gonna walk out of here all cool. Wait a minute. Press X to doubt on not being a bad person. What is it? Did you, did you also break a taboo and get turned into a dark elf, like I did? Sorry, lady. I was born a dark elf. How come? Going by what the legends claim, my ancestors committed a grave sin. For that, they were turned into Dark Elves, and every one of their bloodline would be born a Dark Elf. My hope is that one day our penance will be over, and we will be forgiven. Mom. Anyway, let's go back in time and try to find the witch. If she really is our friend's mother, I'd really like to find out what happened to turn her evil. I concur. Must not forget the cruel fate she inflicted upon Rildi and Sataka. Monster in the eaves of Vega Forest was Medusa, wasn't it? Or should I say it was Rildi, not long after she had been so horrifically transformed. She spent 20,000 years in this tower all alone in the body of a monster. I feel a lump in my throat trying to imagine how she suffered, cursed with immortality bringing death to any and all she looked at. Before you guys make me cry, let's head back to the past. All the leads we've been following point us to Reptiris. Find her, we may finally get to tie up all the loose ends and discover what happened to his mom. Thank you. No pal, officially joined the party. First, let's head to Sarupa and ask around about Rildi and Sataka.
What a letdown. There was no witch in the tower after all. Meh, I'll go back too. But next time I'll find her. Quest completed. Back to the past we go. Ooh, did we get level 3 of uh, no pow? It hurts. Help me, mom. Where are you, mom? Where are you? Tell me how to find you. Please, mom. Hair is touching my neck, but it's very itchy. Stop. Okay, we can uh, run the dungeon for this episode now. So instead of immediately going to Sarupa, we actually need to talk here and then go to Sarupa. <laughs> What a heartbreaking sight, now that we know what they are. Produces victims left out here as if to act as a warning. I, I thought we kind of already knew that. Um, I kind of like them. They'd make, a nice, they'd make nice garden ornaments. Can't take dead people home even if they're turned to stone. Can't just play finders keepers. Oh, well, that's what the no pow do, though. They just collect things. You alerted us to the danger lying ahead. Thank you. I wish we could have saved you, too. Let's be on our way. Yeah, first let's find out about Rildian, Sataka, and Sarupa. I should really just join in on the party instead of sneakily fall everywhere. But I guess that is her kind of thing to do. Okie dokie. Map. Back to antiquity. Hmm. <sighs> Excuse me. Have the yawns. Go antiquity. Come on. You can do it. Load antiquity. I think the problem is antiquity has the most locations on it right now. I think the present gets more, but we haven't done enough to unlock them all yet, so most of them are uh, not visible. Okay, there he is right there. Actually, as long as we're running around here, we should probably get some more food. We'll be prepared. This time we need to fight. Hello there. Blessings of the big tree be on you. Would you like to stay? Please? I would like to... HP and mana completely restored. Yes, my favorite. Yes, blessings of nature be upon you. Here you go. Obtain slow cooked meat. I don't think there's a collection for all the foods, which is a pity. Well, if you can keep track of whether or not you've found all the food. <coughs> Excuse me. I should drink some water. That would probably help. It's a curse. The witch's curse. So it was him that was seen heading to the forest. Taka was such a promising young man. It breaks my heart to see him end up like this. Is that statue Sataka? We found it here this morning. Had he not been warned enough, and yet he went into the forest to seek out the witch definitely the man we saw in Medusa's flashbacks. And in fact, we have seen him before, when we went to the Vega Forest the first time. Yeah, the Nopals carried him out of the forest. Didn't we see him in Dogma Tower too? What is the unfortunate fellow doing here now? Warning for us to keep away from the witch's forest. Someone mention a witch. Parisa! Do we have Parisa? I'll need to check. Oh, Parisa, don't tell me you're searching for her, too. Was this man cursed by the witch? Not exactly, but he was turned to stone by a person who had been. The curse transformed her into a snake woman. Ah, a monster, a monster's coming. Give back my... That's Medusa. I mean, realty and monster. Even as a monster, she still remembers her beloved. It seemed that it was indeed the witch who brought the petrified Satake here. You mean to lure Rildi into the village so that she'd destroy it? 
We must stop Rildy before she does that. Don't get in my way. Snakes! They appear from the ground. Snakes have slithered out of the tangles of her hair to come and attack us. I'll make short work of them. Get away from me. Ah! This sister. What, what on earth? Why does this monster speak in Rildy's voice? Sister, don't leave me alone. No, no, no. Is this you, Rildy? What has been done to you? Yes. Turned her own sister to stone. It was her intention to turn her loved ones to stone so she might keep them forever. That's sad and monstrous at the same time. Oh. Oh my days, I changed her diapers when she was a baby. I'll be next. She'll take me next. Somebody help. Yes. Yes. An exclamation mark this time. Sneaking away. I don't think she cares about you, old man. Why? Why won't you take me? Do I not matter to you, Rildy? Damn, we didn't make it. She returned to Vega Forest where the witch dwells. Let's chase after her and see. She may lead us to the witch. May I come with you? Need to see the witch? Ask her about my curse. Sure, come with us. Now to Vega Forest. Forgot that Paris is an episode character for this one. Let's see if we can fit her in. The problem is we need these two. Than everyone else, so... Not really. I'll still see if we have her, though. I can make it work for... Dungeon. We do. We do have Parisa. They have a lot of a lot of the bow characters. The uh, four star ones, anyway. We're missing the four the uh, three star robot archer. You know, you got you got to get a full collection of the three stars, or what do you what are you doing after all? If you don't have a three three star full collection, is what eight weapons and three stars for three three stars for each of them? So that's Can't do math in my head. I shall vanquish you here and now. Okay, I guess that's twenty-four three star characters. My AoE attacker is not in the front. This is a huge mistake. <laughs> Uh, you guys can handle this. I believe in you. You're gonna die. The only one of them who's at all competent is Cyrus. Frontline, frontline. Oh, she's got a power down and it down? That's sweet. Sweet. I don't know what those floating lantern and pumpkin. I don't know why I always want to call them pumpkins. I <coughs> I don't think they're pumpkins, but they kind of look like pumpkins to me for some reason. I think I inhaled some dust earlier. Or potentially cat hair. My cat was sitting with me before I, I started. And I was. I didn't fix the party. No. I'm a fool. Oh man, that was a very sad death noise. I guess it's just a conscious, but it was a very sad noise nonetheless. Come on, you guys got this. Good work. No one can defeat a dragon summoner. Okay, before we walk anymore, we're gonna take a moment to make our party less bad. No pow. I was gonna say no pow is a lower level than Brino, but apparently he's not. No pow is the same level as Brino. He's one level higher. I love no pow. I'm sad he's one of the neglected 
uh, episode characters. Some of the, a lot of several of the episode characters have gotten up to five star versions now. No pow is not one of them. <gasps> Look at this little kitty. Look at her face. Whenever it loads. Look at her. She's so teeny. Oh, adorable. You may come with us on our adventure into this dark and scary forest. Take Rakatoto. Yes. Come with us, Rakatoto. We'll see you again later, Pluto. Pluto. I don't quite remember your name, but we'll see you later. Cat hook. Hey, okay, shift cat hook was enough. Very good. So we needed the heels. Okay, I think we finally get to go into the Vega Forest instead of just at it. Look at these round trees. They're so beautiful. A collection of statues. Can't escape us, Reldy. Stay away. I will live for eternity with my dearest. Reldy, you don't have to do this. We shall find a way to lift the stone curse from these people and take them back to the village. Lift the curse. Fools, there is nothing you can do to save these wretches. Once stone, forever stone. It's her. She's so fancy. So it goes for Medusa in her monstrous form. There is no way for her to ever be human again. No one can lift her curse. Not even I. I can tell she's evil by how spiky and black and blue she is. And I guess you could be good or bad, but it'd be hard to pull off. There is no mistaking this voice, this face. I see and hear them in my nightmares. We meet again, Raptirez. After all this time, I have finally tracked you down. Who is this frog who addresses me? Ah, but you are that knight who sought to foil my plans to crush the palsicles, aren't you? How do you like your toad-like raiment? It's you well, methinks. Haunt me all you want, witch. Today I shall make you pay for your sins. Such lofty dreams, my webbed friend. You should know that I am invincible now that I wield the power of time. Power of time? You give it back. Oh my dear, my sweet, aren't you the dark elf or the elf girl who helped who has been so very helpful to me? Not read. Thanks to you, acquiring the power of time was as easy as stealing candy from a baby. You, you evil witch. I see you've had a makeover. Your dark elf raiment suits you almost as well as Sir Frog's suits him. But I wonder, how did you fall so low? Did you use the power of time for your own ends? For all its longevity, did the life of a mere elf displease you? Hmm. Did you put this curse on me? I'm sorry, my dear, I do not believe we've met. It is a fine curse indeed that you have upon you. Sorrowful expression, the anguished look. Exquisite. That's enough, Mom. Please don't be like this. Mom? Who dares to so presume? Wait, it can't be. You. Mommy, it is you. I found you at last. Foolish child. The witch, the mother of a no -pow? Nonsense. I will tell you something, my child. Whiteness of the leaves upon your silly head, that is entirely my doing. I am the Dark Witch, and my sole joy and purpose in this world is bringing misery to others. Mom. Dusa is my plaything. She still retains some of her senses and resists me yet, but soon she will be mine entirely to wreak havoc as I see fit. I will not allow this, witch. Neither will I. Cards, I call on your power. No, don't hurt mom. Stand aside, no pal, this must be done. What the heck are you doing? Get away from her. Oh ho ho, foolish child, I bid you all farewell. Tira, stop. Her wish is my command, but of course, it isn't. Come, Medusa, my beauty, we are going home, beyond the barrier of the forest. Ah, so we're gonna have to get into the forest, is what we're gonna do next. Hopefully we will be able to do that, because I imagine we need a certain amount of dark whiskey. She, she fled. Arg, impenetrable. Doesn't look like we can enter the forest. She's gone now. Why did you have to get in our way? 
Mom doesn't deserve this. Deep down, she's a good person. How can you defend her when you've seen what she does to people? I'm not saying she's innocent, but... Stop fighting between yourselves. X. You doubting some more? <laughs> what was that? It sounded like someone singing. Sorrowful tune. I feel so sad all of a sudden. Sob. Wah. Mom. Finally found you? Why did you push me away? Mom, why? Wah. Um, hey. Don't cry. Come on, pull yourself together. But, but, barely. I'm sorry. To us, the witch is a despicable enemy. She's your mom. I understand that it is very difficult for you. Sob, wah. Aldo just stares into the distance. I mean, he has little choice. It's how his model looks. Feel a bit better now? Come on, wipe away those tears. I decided that I'll have to see my mom again. And talk to her heart to heart. If I have to fight to meet her, I will. You're very brave. I'm sorry I shouted at you earlier. Sorry I made you mad. Glad you two have made up. I'm sure he'll be interested. Seems like it wasn't Reptiras who cursed you. Yes, I will have to continue my quest to find the culprit. Besides, I don't want to be getting in your way. She's another four star who's never had her story resolved because she doesn't have a five star version and it makes me really sad. You're not in the way at all. I hope you can find a way to lift your curse. Thank you. If you ever need my help, let me know. I hope we will. Take care. What shall we do now? The forest is protected by the witch's magic. My sword is no use here, and I am at a loss as to how to overcome this new obstacle in our way. It's a very unusual kind of magical barrier, which draws its power from the life force of all the trees in the forest. Hmm. Didn't Sataka say something about guardians of the forest? Perhaps the reason why he managed to enter the forest was because he was one of its guardians. If it was the forest guardians who set up this magical barrier, that would make sense. Mom said that people who have been turned to stone and the snake woman can't be saved. Their curses can't be lifted. So we're stuck. Dot dot dot. Suggest we ask Ratchet for advice. Good thinking, Cyrus. I guess we'll find her in Palsicle Palace. Let's go. To the map! Come on, map. You can do it! Why are you so strangely optimized? Well, I guess part of the issue is you aren't really optimized very well at all. To Ratchet we go. Ye lack of optimization. It's very unfortunate. I guess it could be worse. It's, it's mostly pretty stable. I mean, it has crashed on me a couple times, but not normally. So that's why we came to you. I was unable to foil Reptira's plan. Instead, I became the butt of her jokes and cruelty. Pretty sure they were just trying to get the port done as quickly as possible. That's the weird thing is, they announced it, and then you didn't hear anything about it for a really long time, and then suddenly it came out. It was weird. She finds it amusing to have cursed me with this wretched appearance. Ah, so that's your story. I'm glad you finally decided to share it with me. I'm afraid now that Reptiras has escaped you and hidden away in her forest, it will be difficult for you to get to her. Not only does she wield powerful magic, she is also cunning and without scruples. Is there absolutely nothing we can do? I will never give up in my quest to defeat Reptiras. A single night passes out without me having nightmares of that fateful day. Today I failed in my duty to protect King Palisiple's family. You abhorrent creature, does your cruelty know no bounds? What did my wife and son ever do to you? Ho ho ho, my dear Palsiple. Ah ha ha ha. Come now, Palsiple, get a grip on your, of yourself. It is unbecoming of a king to lose composure so. 
but I'm merely paying you back in the same coin. Whatever do you mean? My husband died in the war that you started. Only one of my children survived, yet I had to forsake him too. It is all your fault, Palsiful. It was all because of your mistakes. You are the king. Accept your responsibility. The king is not to blame. He had no choice but to go to war to protect our country. It matters little to me whether my revenge is justified or a mere whim. I have decided to devote my life to murder, destruction, and chaos. Wahaha. Slide backward and fade. Just It amuses me every time. I was too weak, too unprepared to prevent that tragedy. As one does, wahaha. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you just you get a bit upset, and then you gotta devote the rest of your life to causing chaos and destruction. I also blame myself for not noticing sooner the danger Reptira has posed. I guess this finally resolves the question of what happened exactly to the yeah, king's son and wife. Well, they're all dead now. Ratchet and Reptira's the Green Witch were friends once upon a time. It's Tuva! Don't have Tuva. Hi there, Ratchet. I had some business at the palace, so I thought I'd stop by. Are you reminiscing about Reptira's? Um. Ah, Tuva. We studied magic at the palace together. Nice to meet you. By the way, Er, you called Reptira's the Green Witch. She calls herself the Dark Witch used to be a kind-hearted sorceress living together with people known as guardians of the forest. In fact, her husband was one of them. She helped out at Palsiful Palace sometimes, too. So that's how you knew her. Wasn't that a long time ago? How do you know that? You're so young. Huh? Haha, <laughs> I guess I look young. A very funny pose for this conversation. Oh yeah, that's her four-star her four star art pose. It's actually, her four star art is actually slightly censored in the uh, global. Hmm, those ears. You seem to be an elf. I am a dark elf, actually. Why? It reminded me of someone. Never mind. Met Reptiras at the palace in the past. From what I've heard, she has drastically changed since then. Nothing but bad rumors about her. I wonder if she's relying on a certain unusual kind of necromancy. A certain unusual kind of necromancy. Imagine that bodily, she is already dead, but her soul remains bound to her corpse by shadow power. That would be my guess anyway. Corpse, shadow power, but how would she come into the possession of such a power? Who's to say, her existence contravenes the laws of nature, that's for sure. But it's hardly my place to judge her now, is it? Hee hee, tee hee. So she's actually dead. Then, is all this my fault? Wait, what? my fault. I met her when I was still just a normal elf. My village guarded a treasure known as the Power of Time. I was a fortune teller respected and trusted. In hindsight, I became too cocky. I had so much confidence in my prophecies even when they were ambiguous. And then I made a grave mistake. I foretold that Reptiras would bring good fortune to my village. Her real purpose was to steal the Power of Time. We let our guard down, overly relying on my prophecy. Just looked up Japan Tuva. <laughs> her real purpose was to steal the power of time. We let her. Oh, whatever. Make sure you look at her four star art, not her five star art. I think her five star. Well, they might. Have, I don't know if her five star art is the same or not. Inversions. I thought I could undo it all by using the power of time myself. Then I remembered one of the rules by which we elves live. Ah, yes, you elves take your rules very seriously, don't you? Everything is part of a greater whole, and the whole must be governed by harmony. I tried to tell myself that using the, the power of time was for the greater good of the village. But, as you can see, I have been punished. I have fallen into darkness. I have become a dark elf. I think it's because deep inside I harbored the selfish wish to cover up my mistake. My intentions weren't pure. I broke the taboo, and consequentially, I could no longer live as an elf. I was cast out of the village. The only motivation left to me in life is to find that witch and bring her to justice. Honestly, better than the global one. Global one looks like she has boob socks or something. Well, yeah. Like, look, if you look at her outfit here, it doesn't have that. I didn't realize. Shadow power is nothing compared to the stolen power of time. 
Ratchet, I'm grasping at straws, but is there really no way to save people who have been turned to stone or turned into monsters? It is, to all intents and purposes, impossible. It takes time to turn a person fully to stone. Once their heart is petrified, then sadly, they cannot be brought back. The same goes for those turned into monsters. Once the curse reaches their heart, they can no longer be saved. Yep, so we can't save Rildi and Sataka. Two more lives to be added to the tally of that wretched witch's win victims. No, it's my fault. It started with my incorrect reading of the cards. If I had not been wrong that time, Rildi and Sataka wouldn't have ended up like this. Mom, why do you do these horrible things? Reptira said that your unusual appearance is also her doing. Did she curse you, her own child? No, no, Mom was always kind to me. She wouldn't do anything to hurt me. At least, that's what I think. I don't remember much about what happened to me. What we know for sure is that Reptira's is abusing the power of time. He's using it for all the wrong reasons, spreading chaos and destruction. Drawing on the power of time to stop this purest of evils would be entirely justified. What are you getting at, Radica? Let's return to Vega Forest. We have an idea. Back to the map! Bad. I think we're already done talking to Tuva. Tuva's one of my favorite characters. Look how purple she is. She has purple hair. Clothes. Best. Like Deirdre, except her hair is uh, not a red purple. Makes her better than Deirdre. In the purpleness uh, competition. I don't think the purpleness competition is a real thing, but uh. I can be if I want it. Just gotta believe. I gotta make sure I don't use up all of Nakoko's, though. We have enough points on Cyrus to get his ability yet. Lead us. Ability board. Come on, let's see if we can get your nice ability. Three points we can. Nirvana Slash. Has increased strength. Target. I think. Yeah, I went too far out. I need. I need to equip Nirvana Slash. Does increased damage if the target is inflicted with pain. Double strength. Water Slash. Looks pain and ignores resistance, which is pretty sweet because um, I think prior prior to the up update of the story characters, I. I don't know if there was anyone who could ignore resistances without a manifest. I know Garam Bell can. Gar Garam Barrel, but he was later. So, things are going pretty well. Cyrus is getting stronger. Which is good, because he's one of our story people. We're gonna try and use more of the more main story people once we get back to the main story, but... For the episodes, I like to use the episode people I have, since they're the ones who show up in the episode. I said I was gonna try and conserve Nakoko's mana, and then I forgot. No one can defeat a dragon summoner! Alright, time to do some legal magic, or taboo magic, I guess. I will now use the power of time. Stand back, everyone. Are you sure you want to do this? Using this power is what turned you into a dark elf after all. Well, if my intentions are not judged to be pure, I may bring upon myself an even graver punishment. I may be destroyed by it or erased from existence. It certainly would not end well for me. Bit racist there. Radica. You will disappear. Don't worry, I've learned to better discern between what is a legitimate reason to use the power and what is merely selfish. I will now begin. <coughs> Excuse me. A choke. A great power of time. Become our compass, leading us through the ebbs and flows of history. Guide us to the origin of the tragedy which has brought such anguish and sorrow to this land. Honestly, the elves are a bit, uh, 
a bit unbearable. Reno's alright, but... Radica, Runa, and Vena are all a bit... I guess Korea's alright. There we go. Way is open. Pant pant. Phew. Seemed to go well. Sounded as commanding as a samurai preparing for a glorious duel. You are magnificent. Eh, thank you. Why did the path leading into the forest appear here, though? It's the path Rildi and Sataka took when they came to see the witch. The power of time has summoned it to this timeline. Incredible what you can do with the power of time. For some reason we can't use our ability to time travel to travel to that time because time traveling abilities are limited to like three eras. Eras. Yes, that's why it falls into such well, that's why it's such a big problem when it falls into the wrong hands. If we go through here, we will enter the Vega Forest of the Past. You mean before Realty turned into Medusa? Yes, if we manage to get to the witch before they do, we may be able to change their destiny. Okay, let's get going. Casually change the past by going further into the past and therefore changing the future, but the future is also the past. We have much farther to go, Sataka. Cough, cough. Be strong, Rildi. The witch's house shouldn't be far now. These flowers. Oh, no, the flowers faded out, but they're very magnificent. I hear there they are. Here we are in Vega Forest. You suppose Sataka and Rildi are already here in the forest? It could be. Let's have a look around. I mean, if the path they took is here, you would imagine that they're somewhere on it. Now we must seek them out. Well, murdering forest creatures and plants. Are these abominations. Nokoko, no! Stop! Stop using up all your power, Nokoko! I'll need you later! You're a fool to challenge me! I do not know why these are called puggies. They're kinda cute in a weird way. Okay, they take they get taken out by by her attack, so that's good. You say is you're in charge of Nokoko. I'm very bad at being in charge! That's You're why I need help at, uh, me. feeding us the man Manifest Fight. Second Manifest Fight for Iskaya, yes. I finally finished leveling up her sword, and now I gotta beat it, and, uh... I'm not, uh, the best at that. I have to look for YouTube videos. <laughs> Down to Nakoko. Tell me how to not suck and use my people intelligently. One thing you do in another Eden is whenever you see something that looks like a dead end, you run face first into it because sometimes there's hidden passages. We're actually going to use her shift cat hook here because we need to heal. Shall we venture on? Yeah. I don't know how often there's a. I don't think there's actually secret passages all that often, but I've I've learned to just always run into the wall to see if I uh if I can Got find them. Cat scratch fever. Kinda like wall humping in boomer shooters. Do they like to hide secrets in the walls or something? <laughs> Bow down to Nakoko. I guess the moral of the story is if there's a wall, you can never trust it. Might be hiding things. Flowers. I think some of these are reused from the Moonlight Forest. But some of them are not. These guys share the same like base model with the uh, sandworms. Which I guess this area will become the part of the desert in the future. I need to deal with them differently because they hit very hard. Yep, if you're really trying hard to secret hunt in, you sometimes need to just strafe into the wall. <laughs> Well, I guess if you know if you know that's what you need to do, then uh, that's half the battle. Why, you horrible creature? Why must you be so strong? Stop biting everyone with your massive teeth. But 
interesting. I wanted to see That's what was there. Uh... They have, I've noticed they have dialogue for like low health ending battles. Like he says that was perilous. And Tiramis will say she really needs something sweet. That was perilous. Osiris, he's dying. Looks like there's nothing particularly here. I think there's a horror through there. Okay, I think we have to fight it on the other side to open a uh, a passage. Probably not a horror then, just a, an enemy on the map. This horrors respawn. But I think that's a shortcut to get back to the entrance once we uh, go through the long way. Get to boss. I do appreciate when there's like a shortcut back to the entrance that you can open up once you get to the end. Did I run properly into that wall? Not the Saracena. I hate it. I hate it muchly. Flee, little no pal. Flee, Cyrus. Our no pal is too slow, and so he gets killed almost every time. Let's do it with Twin Dragons, I should get it down easy. Yep, there we go. Delulu's leveling up. She may not be the greatest, but she is a 5 star, so... I mean, I guess that's something. I think we also have to advance the main story a bit more to be able to do her quests. I'm not sure. Wait, why am I... That I am using my mana very poorly. You know what? I have no idea if we can fight this thing, but we can certainly try. You want to try to fight this abomination? Do it? Okay, we will do it right after I run around this hall. I don't know why I called it the hall. I guess because I think of all these as like little corridors because of the way the map works. These guys I had- I think I had a slight problem with because I'm pretty sure they're immune to magic, or they absorb magic. My wave clear was Tuva, back in the day. Come here, flower monster. Like a rose monster with a mouth. That is probably an appropriate response, no pal. Run to the back line. Oh dear, confused. Okay, healing prayer to cure the confusion. Stop with your status effects. You are very rude. Very rude, dark purple bramble. Here, actually, we'll swap you with Brino so Brino can do whatever his thing is. Oh, Cyrus, you try so hard, but you don't do very much damage. Someday. Someday, my, my poor frogman. Okay. Okay, they finally recovered from Queen Fusion. That again. Get the pain going again, and then we'll probably do an A. Just to, uh... Leave the rest to me. Things, things done. Okay, we're not gonna have Nakoko, but that's fine. I really, really hate having to figure out what the correct ability is to click in a. Uh... I don't like things that require accuracy and speed. Because I am slow. But, like, characters that have to switch between abilities in another force stress me out a lot. But I don't use like, his main I AS that much. This alone. Not here. We don't have his main AS here at all, but... Mobile. Mobile, I have his main AS. And I don't use her very much because... Well, I use her, I just don't use her. Yeah. Everything in another Eden is like A whatever because it's another, another force, another style, another dungeon. It's, uh, it's their theme. Well, 
we did uh we did kill that plant with actually not as much effort as I thought it would take, so. Two flowers are lovely. I'm very partial to Okay, there's a shortcut through here, but it doesn't really matter. Part of the level. Pro plant killers. Indeed. You could be like uh those people you hire to come kill weeds. You could do that. The weeds. Okay. Finished this area. Fortunately, we did already eat our food. Gardeners? Yes, we could be gardeners. Lawn people. Something. Come on. Lead of the reserve. Don't get one shot again. Got one shot again. Ah, poor thing. Leave the rest to me. I am here for your soul. There you go. Everyone's healed up. No one can defeat a dragon summoner. And uh Oh wait, no, I don't need to go that way, because there is a path through here. Brilliant. Just ran through it and I already forgot about You're it. You're a fool to challenge that? me! Maui, what are you doing? Alright, my cat was... I don't know what she was doing, but she was doing something. Oh wait, no, we do need to shift cat hook. Go, heal up everyone. Dang, things are so fancy these days. You can get heals attached to strong attacks. Let's see. Oh, hi, Maui. You will fall gonna show your cute blade. face? <laughs> oh, we're just gonna run your tail through the camera. Come here, Momo. Come here, girl. Come here. Hi, what? It's a Mew Mew. She doesn't like to show her cute face, she just wants to sit in my lap. But I will make her show her cute face because I think she's beautiful and I like to show her off to people. She is my precious pretty girl. I need my mouse. I can't have it. I can't have my mouse. I never know which is the correct way to go, and sometimes I have to do massive backtracking because I miss an area that has, like, a chest in it, and I'm very bad about remembering to come back to these things. There are a couple areas we went earlier that I need to go back to. I still have not gone back to. Ned knocked your mouse off, that's why it's broken. Ah. Uh, Kitties, they do what they want. Maybe he realized that you just really, or you really needed like a new mouse, mouse that could scroll wheel properly. So he was just trying to help you out by forcing you to take action. Sub, sub, <laughs> healing prayer. Despite its name, does not heal. It just cleanses statuses and gives MP regen. Right, residue. You switched an old and crap Mac mouse you had laying around. It also doesn't have a working scroll wheel. Child, you need a working scroll wheel. What are you doing to yourself? You're go cool. go buy a mouse. Me. Or Find someone who has a mouse with a scroll wheel and, and take it. Not mine, I need mine. Was perilous. You need a work and scroll wheel. Your life will be much better. No, you must suffer. If that's your choice! 
Who am I to dissuade you? manage it very carefully. They can actually get mana back, but it's just, uh... Oh, kitty, don't. Don't have a fuss. Don't have a fight, sweetie pumpkin. Maui! Maui! Maui, come back here. Don't, don't do this to yourself. You don't need to. What are you doing? Okay, I gotta go deal with cats real quick. I'll be right back. I'm coming, Mally. Calm down. Cats and Upsetty? Yes. My kitty and my mother's kitty who likes to come hang out in my room were having a fuss at each other because he wanted out, my mother's kitty wanted out, and my kitty wanted to sit right in front of the door and throw a fit because he was walking by the door. I love her. He's also very stupid. <laughs> So that's the way out, so this way was where we didn't need to go at all. I'm very unfortunate in that I frequently go the correct way and then I have to reroute entirely uh, to go the... <sighs> Excuse me! Did you see my graceful moves? Okay, there is loot over here. I mean, the loot is pretty much all dark residue, but, you know, every bit of dark residue slightly reduces the amount of time we have to spend running the dungeon to farm it. Although, actually, I like... I like the Dogma Tower dungeon. Uh, it may sound... It may seem a little crazy. I do. I, I enjoy it. It's a little... It's kind of a different dungeon. I'll, I'll run it after we're done with this stuff. I'll run it and show you what like. I can't lose... Prayer, reserves. The way switching to reserve is used to be different, but then they added. Hey, we're gonna wipe on this thing if I'm not careful. Fine, she has enough MP to kill it. Oh, I need something sugary. I need something sugary. The reason I thought she said she needs something sweet. I guess it's. Similar? There's there's sweet things that aren't sugary, I guess. How much MP does Nakoko have? Can you heal? You can heal. No one else can do anything, though, so. Say no one else can do anything. Cyrus and no pal can. Should actually check. Pal can heal too. I can see if he can uh, go up a level yet. Not a level. He unlock his third. Nope, he's still two stars. I guess we'll need to defeat this chapter for him to go up to three stars. I love these like glowing dandelion thing. They make me think of my favorite. Some of my best. favorite. One of my favorite things in um, Genshin Impact. It's just looking at the flowers. Collecting them. I assume there's a purpose to collecting them, but I kind of just wanted to collect them. Coco, you were supposed to switch to the back line. I think I messed up. Oh, they're weak to water. Okay, that's good. Leave the rest to me. We don't care about maximizing our 
I don't care about maximizing the amount of Why are you so weird? Lulu? We don't- I think we're gonna not worry about maximizing our dark residue right now. We're gonna swap him to the back. We're gonna drop Brino because he's stuck as a four star, poor thing. Or Katana. Alright, there we go. Nika. She's a wa another water katana user, like um Cyrus. She should also be good against those flowers. You will fall to my blade. Long sword of sin. <laughs> AoE water attack, water slash attack, I believe. This way. There's some loot up this way. Prepare and it yourself. stops when Cyrus is in that one part of his like walk cycle. Looks like he's about to fall over. A mistake. Go. Residue. Painting rewards, that's nice. Let's see. Healing prayer. Right. She kills all of them. Okay. I was gonna say if she kills all of them, they don't get the mana region, and I want the mana region. Very inconvenient, but it's a way to keep going without having to run back to town and heal. Dark residue. So maybe we need to get to where that uh that path you was blocked at the first one, so we're kind of doing day. a winding around to where we started. Sin healing prayer. I don't think this is actually wise because I think long sort of sin might be able to one shot these guys. Oh no, it died of pain, but we got our mana regen first, so it doesn't me. matter. I love these flowers. It's so gorgeous. Sometimes my fingers get off on the keys and I'm like, why am I not moving? Usually then I'm pressing S when I think I'm pressing A or D. I'll actually do shift up. Try and heal up everyone a bit. Okay, yep. Now we're heading back towards where we started. Hopefully we get to remove whatever that plant was that was blocking the way so we can get back there quickly without having to run through this whole area again. That's kind of a nuisance. So. Sin. Okay. What the? This is down. Oh shoot. I wiped. <laughs> I do not. Back to Saruba. It's time to pay for my sins. That was a bit unfortunate. Do we have food? No, we do not have food. Time to grab some food. Lol. Indeed. Sometimes I accidentally wipe when I'm a little too optimistic about how much damage my characters can take. <clears throat> uh, completely restored. What lovely food do they give us here? Slow cook to it. Alright. Back on the road- wait, actually, are we able to fast travel to the Vega Forest? We have to walk there. If we don't have to walk through the Charl Plains, I would like that because we get to conserve some mana to use on the stupid forest plants. In weird forest plants. Yep, Vega Forest, we can fast travel. Very nice. I imagine what we're doing is we're looping around to get to that from the other side. Whatever area is right there. At least that's what I would assume the map does. This kitty is so adorable. I feel a little bad about taking such an innocent and adorable kitten into a scary forest to fight a witch. But I think, I think the kitty can cope. It gets to phase out of existence whenever we have to fight. <clears throat> Excuse me. There. This one's paint because we gotta run the long way through the through the map to get to the next one. It is alright. 
I need I need to not have them all attack. I need to have them all attack those guys because I think I think she can kill everyone else with the long sword of sin, but those ones she cannot kill with one turn. Bow down, Tuna Coco. So we need to make them target the guys that she can't one one shot pretty much. This is still pretty efficient for uh, the fighting, really. If this guy is not weak, do water or slash. I think I think the plants might be actually weak to slash, not water. Goodness, this thing's hard. Dragons, fire shift, shift, shift cat. Weak. Sorry. Did you see my graceful move? The Coco has so many useful abilities. It's it's really a shame you can only use three at once. And even if you get her up to like uh, 80 light, you can only use two. You can only you only get one extra slot. She has so many useful abilities. Got a little cat scratch fever. Flash. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't first attack its wind AoE. And we're good. Nope. It really likes to use its wind AoE. Meow meow. Well, it's good, no at least. Defeat a I do not summoner. like the Sarasenia. Plus, farming a hundred of them is a pain. I can't remember if it's- I don't know if it's- I don't think it's on near on the level You're of the pain the of farming a hundred. The sand... things. That is the worst. Take that. Come on, little people. <laughs> run away. Good work. We're just having great misfortune. We're being attacked Did by so many Saracenias, and not the moves. plants we're actually good at dealing with. It is a curse. I think we have been cursed. Okay, now we will continue our journey, where we left off after being so tragically defeated You're the fool to by random monsters. Me. Okay, these guys will attack. Huggy? Problem is she is very slow, so we take a lot of damage no if we rely on her. A dragon summoner. But probably is better to still just use Tiramis instead. But we take less damage. I will take care of this. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we'll leave her to clean up. I don't think there's gonna be anything to clean up, but eh, if, if there is, nope, there's nothing. <laughs> Bow down, Tuna Coco. a horror. Okay, we are going to not fight with this horror because uh, we can probably maybe kill it, but I'd rather uh, not die again just yet. Also, I'm massively using up our mana, so we'd have to eat our food. Dragon summoner. Or can we... It, goes, it has quite a patrol route there. Oh, I hate these things. They are so mean. <laughs> How viciously it fit for, uh, for... For Nika here. I'm called for. Louching. Okay, let's see if there's anything over here. Nope. There's an area here where this plant is hiding. See what things might be hidden here. I mean, unfortunately, the answer is probably not much. But we can investigate. Let's 
see if we can kill this guy with this Falco. Okay, the Falco hits quite hard. I feel the darkness whispering. Some dark residue. Probably not worth it. Almost none, but and again, might might be quite a grind. I'm not sure. We'll find out. I'm hoping not. Okay, we'll just summoner's gift these guys. I think summoner's gift still works against most of the enemies that aren't too tanky. This is where we want to go, down here. Run over this way, see if there's anything over there. There's probably not, but I have to check. I will not be able to uh, be at peace unless I do. Probably still managed to wipe for uh, Nikka. Oh, I didn't! That's nice. Nikka takes a lot of damage. This is my dad. She's uh, a bit under leveled compared to the others. Level 40. 49, I think, maybe? She's getting up there, but she's still fairly low level. I want Part of the reason I'm using her also is because I want to level her because I've never really got to use her and she seems pretty cool. If you don't wipe them, then Nakoko will regen some mana. Nakoko will get to regen some mana. He'll be dead, but... Look at, Look at this thing! How dare it still be alive! Story of the whole team, to be honest. Stop killing everyone, you inconsiderate plant! Being underleveled? Yes. Everyone but Tiramis is underleveled. Nakoko and Cyrus are almost appropriately leveled. <laughs> and I think they're the only ones. Maybe Helena. I'm not sure. I, I was using her a lot, but then I wasn't using her for the running. The, uh, I will take care the, of this. the Labyrinth, so I think Helena is actually still pretty underleveled. Hi, Maui. Hi, baby. Perilous. You come to tell me that it is time for you to eat food. I'll feed you in a bit. I'll feed you in a bit. You're not starving. You may think you are starving, but you are in fact not starving. Prepare yourselves for death. She does not realize that she is a pudgy kitty. Not that pudgy really, but this got a little pudgy my on. Dance. Okay, so we need to head that way, but first let's check out what's over here, because if that I don't see it on here, but I was gonna say if that monster that's blocking that one path is around here somewhere and we can kill it, that'd be great because we'd have a shortcut over to here uh, if we need to go back to town. We'd have to run all the way around the thing again, and that would be pretty sweet. Like little ripples. Get ripple on face. Okay, there's sorry, sign up there. Fight this. A little awkward in the part in between where it moved into its position and they didn't jump into theirs. Let's give it everything we've got. Then Nirvana Slash. It is indeed time for cats to have food. Be patient, kitty babies. I will feed you shortly. Sometimes you eat early, this sometimes you eat late. Well, it will not harm thee. Okay, yeah, now we can use this shortcut. Nice. Very nice. Now we don't have to go a long way around. How can I do this to them? I am a cool person. That is presumably what my cats think. Like, how dare you? We are in imminent danger of starvation. We have not eaten in a good two hours. I hope we can survive this, actually. My main people get really low on stuff, and this guy is capable of wiping my lower, lower power people. They're withering away. Yes, my, my pudgy kitties are are withering away for things. 
send you back to the front line, maybe you the back line, water level slash, Nirvana slash. <laughs> Cyrus, you're doing some acceptable damage. And now he's dead. Rest in peace, Cyrus. Front line. Kitty Guardian. Which is very nice in that it gives the bonus to the back line as well as the front. Which, uh, most things only give bonuses to the front line. I think a few things give things to the back line. Some things give them to the front line and the back line. Very unusual. Very convenient, but very unusual. I assume they're gonna have to bypass some more vines here, but I'm getting distracted by how blue those roses are. Or not blue. There's a lot of blue ones, but no, those ones are purple. Which is very neat. That was perilous. Perilous Cyrus. Yep, here we go. Vines. Do we have enough dark residue? Oh, these thorny vines are blocking our way. They're not part of the forest guardian's protective barrier. These summoned by the witch. Cough, cough. Please let us pass through. We've come to seek your help. What do you want? I've got my hands full as it is. Stop, realty, Sataka. Don't go there. What? Who are you? How do you know our names? I saw you in the memory stored in this ruby. It showed us what will happen to you. Hold it and you'll see it too. Ruby? Arg, what? What was that? Can't be true. Realty became a monster, and I was turned to stone by it. Her? Do you see that trusting a witch to help you will only backfire in a way more terrible than your worst nightmares? What? What did you see, Sataka? Sataka, I'm scared. I don't want to ask the witch for help. Cough, cough. Realty? You only wanted the best for your beloved, but this wouldn't have ended well. Let's turn back and return to the village. I see how it is now. I see it clearly. So, shall we go back? You're trying to deceive me, conjuring up these horrific visions. <laughs> Look at this poor little surprised face. Oh, cool! Good witch, please hear me. Let us through. I need your help to cure Rildi. Interesting. Very well, then you may proceed. Come, Rildi. Cough, cough. Okay. No, this is all wrong. At this rate, history will just repeat itself. What a dummy. Yes. Don't lose hope, Aldo. We can still save them. These are the same as the thorns in the desert tower. They're reacting to the black dust. We can break through this barrier. Time to find out if we have enough or if we need to do some grinding. I think the grinding must have been reduced on a lot of these or removed. Because we do not have very much of this. Either that or it was always easy to get through the story parts. I hope Rildi and Sataka have not come to harm. We must hurry before it's too late. Although I remember, I'm pretty sure the Ocean Palace. Okay. Pretty sure the Ocean Palace was great, so I'll be surprised if that one isn't. Meat will practically melt in your mouth. HP and MP completely restored. Major trial awaits you beyond this point. Proceed? Yes, indeed. We are ready now that we ate our food. Sometimes you just need a nice cooked meal and then you're ready to take on anything. You said she was ill, and I can see that it is indeed a most serious malady. We went to the mainland, consulted many different doctors, but cough, cough. Let me do the talking for you, Rildi. You've seen all the most esteemed doctors, but none of them agreed to even try to help her. Gladout said there was no hope for her, so we've come to you. You're our only hope. You are the Green Witch. If anyone can help Rildi, it is you. Indeed, nothing is impossible for me. I can cure your friend. I can make her body stronger so that she will never fall sick ever again. That would be amazing. Taka, don't do it. You saw what will happen. Shut your lying mouth. My beloved Rildi is dying and you want me to give up on saving her. I'd rather give her a chance than do nothing, because maybe that vision was true. 
This is my decision. You stay out of it. Don't be stupid, Sataka. Cough, cough. Splutter. Oh no. Rildy, are you okay? Oh, Green Witch, please hurry. She doesn't have long left. Your wish is my command, little one. Don't do this, Mom. Why did you have to be so mean to everyone? Mom? Who dares to so presume? Wait, it can't be. You. I've come here to ask you why you changed, why you've become so full of hatred. Please, Mom, you were so kind before. I want you to be the loving mom I remember. Dot dot dot. Silence, you white, your, you white leaves wretch. You will never call me your mother again. But Mom, who, maybe that's whole. He's never going to listen. I will not allow rabble like you to come between me and my plans. Come, my minions. All. She's very neat before. Or this guy. Oh, pal. There is familiars. Time? What are those? Abominations. Quite clearly. Very hard hitting abominations. Come on, we can do this. Mighty power of Tyrannus. The world will be cleansed of these hideous creatures. And also Nokoko. Nokoko actually did a lot of work there. Ah, oh, there's more of them! Why is there so many of them? <laughs> Gift. She did, hits hard, she does. She's very strong. Um, she'll be even stronger once we can finally do her quests and unlock higher levels of her uh, shift cat hook ability. <gasps> Until then, I think she's stuck with the first level of it. I think it's shift cat hook? I forget. How many waves of these guys do we have to fight? Still here. I'll bring them all down. I mean, we got mana. We can do this for a while. And dragons? Got two turns of twin dragons. Well, we gotta summon again. Oh no! The Coco's down. That's bad. Aldo says while he's not in the fight. He's here in spirit. I think that was- yeah, that was the last wave of them, thank goodness. I got concerned once Nokoko went down. Here's... We've defeated all of your servants, Reptiras. Now it's just you and us. Oh, Green Witch, what about Rildy? I'm afraid that I have bad news. But then... Bad news is for this rabble, not for you, my sweet. While my minions were keeping them busy, I cast a spell on the girl. How is that possible? Oh, but I can. Now let us admire the fruits of my labor. Arg, I can't move. Ah ha ha, tell me, how does it feel to be so powerless? Sataka, was it? Well, Sataka, you need not worry about your sweetheart any longer. Oh, I see. So it is with this that Rildi is to be reborn as an immortal snake woman. What? How did you get that? What are you talking about, Sataka? Forgive me, Rildi. I made the decision without consulting you. I knew the witch would not save your life without a price, and that price was for you to be turned into a monster. I couldn't bear to think of you dying. Please forgive me. Sataka. Such a disappointment. I was so looking forward to seeing your torment and despair. Huh? No? No. Sataka. Oof. Garg. Oh well, at least the girl will provide me with some entertainment. Gaze upon your boyfriend, girl. Watch him turn to stone. Let me hear you shriek in anguish and fill my heart with joy. Rildy, listen. I want you to remember this. I chose this, and I'm happy with this decision. Turned to stone, I will be with you until the end of time. I will never stop loving you. 
This is a good ending for me compared to having you die in my arms. I am grateful to you, Green Witch. You were driven by malice and spite, perhaps, but I welcome this. Oh, what an unutterably dull fellow. Don't want this. Sataka, please live. Live for me. That's my treasured emerald. What are you planning to do, Rildy? Collective like a mirror. So, if I look into it... Stop, wait, don't do this. Forget about me, Sataka. You deserve to live a happy life. Forget me and find someone else to love. I can't do that. It's you I want to share my life with. Forgive me, Sataka. I love you more than anything in this world. Really? Oh, how thoroughly inconvenient. Just as I was getting ready to enjoy my new plaything. Ran away again. Well, since you have spoiled all my fun, I shall take my leave. Oh, she teleported. Got you. Lulu. Soul belongs to me. Eh, I can't harvest it. What are you? Why isn't this working? Boo, is my scythe on the fritz or something? Whoa, this witch is so fooky. Scythe. Raid, you can't collect my soul, Reaper girl. I might well have failed today, but my work in this world is not done yet. I'll continue to spread misery and despair. Promise you, this isn't the last you will see of me. Whoosh. Rildy. I knew that to you, I was more important. That you'd oppose this idea. That's why I kept you in the dark. In the end, it all amounted to nothing, and I've lost you just as I feared. Sataka? I'm sorry I ignored your warning. You were acting with the best of intentions. Imagine if she was just casually decapitated. <laughs> but if I knew that, if I, but I knew that if I did nothing, she would not survive. She could die any moment. There was no way to save her, whether you asked Riptiris to use her power on the girl or not. Can you show me that gemstone again? Okay. It looks just like my emerald. Wanted to give it to Rildy to mark our engagement. Emerald has been passed down through the generations in my family. Rildy must have been very happy to know she mattered so much to you. I hope so. Before she turned to stone, Rildy said she loved Sataka. That's important, isn't it? Loving someone. I think my parents would have told each other that they loved each other. Maybe, maybe they said it to me too. I hope you do too. Huh? I'm confused. You got this gemstone from the future Rildy, is that right? Was it the centuries of grief that turned it blood red, I wonder? Cease to exist. It's gone. That's because Rildy's fate has been changed. Future events are correcting themselves. I see. Maybe this is the best possible outcome. She looks as if she's still alive, free from the pain of her illness consuming her body, holding in her hand the emerald which was to symbolize our betrothal. Well, she doesn't have to live on her own for like 2,000 years, 20, 20,000 years as a monster. So, you know, that too. This is for the best. Sob. Really, my dearest. Please, if you could, leave us alone together for a while. Right. Seems like an upgrade, you suppose? <laughs> hey guys, got a moment. What is it, Alulu? There's someone who wants to talk to you. Who might that be? You know, we should go somewhere else to talk. Sataka needs some time alone. Why don't we go to the cave behind the waterfall? At least that's where he wants us to go. Yeah, we can actually just run out there. Convenient! Very convenient. I cannot sing the music, but it is very good music. Oh, 
almost lost a life or two. Yeah, I meant to have Nakoko use her thing, unless she's low on mana, because uh, they need a little bit of a heal. That would be uh, very helpful, uh, my poor little people. They've been hit pretty hard. Got a little oh no, not one of these. Fever. They're the worst. Come on guys, you can do it. Okay, everyone died except for Tiramis, but that's fine. Tiramis has this under control. Did All is well. My graceful move? Mass death, yes. I'm gonna say a thing about a character, but we don't have them yet, and you don't know about it, so... I won't spoil it for you. It'll be exciting. I say it'll be exciting. It's a character I massively neglect. But this time, maybe I won't massively neglect them. Working on the episodes is a good idea too, because then we get to collect up the free characters, uh, quite a few of which can be five stars, uh, which can really help. And some of them are actually quite strong. And some of them fell off a bit with the power creep, but they're still fine for old older content anyway, so. It's not like the older content gets tougher, it's just that the new stuff. Why is my hair doing this? I don't like it when it, I want it to be flat in the front. No, no, I made it worse. There we go. I guess this is the end of part, part two. So, what is this about? Neo slash 72 hosted me for seven viewers. I don't know what that means exactly, but cool. Thank you. Um, it'll be quicker if I show you. Don't come out already, don't be shy. You're being raided? Oh, so that's what a Twitch raid is. Whoa, it's a spirit! Tada! Allow me to introduce you to Ang Anguis Tira's hubby. Husband of Reptiras. So he's my dad? Yep. That means me and my viewers come to watch your stream? Thank you very kindly, Neo slash 72. I'm happy to see you. Yep, he asked me to help find his wife. We've been working on the Celestial Tower and Shadow Witch. You're playing another Eden too? Very nice. Fun game. I enjoy it immensely. I've been waiting so long, he said, but she's not coming to the Netherworld. It seemed really lonely. People told us that Reptiras was actually already dead or something. Yeah, that's why I came for her soul, but my scythe just bounced off her. You... You finished the mythos story yesterday? Ah, very cool. You must be quite a bit of ways ahead of where we are here. So we, I don't think we can start the mythos yet. No, we can't. Well, maybe we can. I'm not sure. Very cool, though. It was a huge surprise. Never happened to me before. You don't mind me asking? What is it that you do for a living, Alulu? Tee hee, that's a secret. Okay, you don't seem like a bad person, though. Besides, we seem to share the same goal. I want to find Mom, too. She's escaped us again, and this time we don't know where to look for her. Anguis, could you tell us about your wife? Any information will be useful. Finish the Mythos before... 30th, the game will give you a random 5-star shadow. Mm, I don't think I can do that, unfortunately. We haven't even completed... um. Ocean Palace. Any information will be useful. We did get the we did get the random light five star light character from starting the next part of the main story. At least, the more I know, the more accurate my card readings will be. Maybe I could show you this soul's memories. That would work, please, if you could. Okay. Here we go. Honey, I'm home. Hello, dear. Who's your little friend? Pow Popo. Came across this no pow on the way home. He was looking very dejected, so I decided to bring him here. I think he might have got lost. Go to sleep close to midnight in France, see ya. 
Oh, you're in France? Very cool. Goodbye. Oh, the poor little thing. We should help it find its friends. I was counting on you to lend me a hand with that. But of course. This is strange. I've been asking around if anyone's seen any nopals in this area, but so far not one person has. Where could his friends be? Nopal. Maybe it's just due to the fact that nopals are so secretive and avoid humans. We cannot find his family. Maybe we could let him stay with us. We can give him a name and raise him as our own. No, Reptiras, we cannot do that. Don't you remember what I told you about the Nopau clan? They don't belong with humans. Raising him as our child would outrage his clansmen, break their taboo. I know, and yet I cannot give him up so easily. Why did you get this attached to him? Well, having him here. It, it's awoken my motherly instincts, I suppose. I understand, dear. We mustn't do that. There are certain rules in this world which we must live by. If a green witch and a forest guardian started breaking those rules, people would be outraged and chaos would follow. You're right. I'm sorry I mentioned it. We should channel our efforts into finding his clan instead. You won't believe it, honey. I finally got- I have finally gotten a hold of a world tree sapling. Oh, well done, you. Papo Pao Ku. It was well worth serving King Palsible. He pays for loyalty handsomely. Now I need your help. First, we should choose the best place to plant this sapling. Next, if you could cast our boreal harbor on it to keep it growing safe and strong. Be my pleasure. Oh. Eh, <laughs> he seems excited about it too. This is your new home, little tree. Spread your roots here and grow tall and strong. Don't you worry, dear. With the protection of our boreal harbor, it will grow just fine. Popo. Hear that? He agrees. Haha, don't start with this again. It's impossible for humans to understand the Nopau's speech. Such are the laws of the universe. Don't need to know the words to understand what's in his heart, right? Popo, po, po, po. I don't know how to do it difference between the Poe with an H on the end and the Poe without an H on the end. Eh, maybe there is something to it. World trees have incredibly long lifespans. They're said to be among the longest lived organisms in this world. You don't need to know to love. Ah, like the good old Mort line. Rather than just being plants, they're closer to spirits. Long been your dream to raise a world tree. Now it's finally come true. No, not yet. I will spend my life protecting this tree, and still it will not be enough. When this tree finally matures and, the blo and blossoms, only then will my dreams have come true. Lost Beacon, thank you for following. I am sure it will bloom, and together we shall gaze upon its blossoms. Po 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 pow. Aha, that is impossible. There are other theories, but they say that it takes... One to two thousand years for a world tree to mature. Honestly, even I know that. There really isn't a shred of romance in you. Po po po. Sorry. Okay, now we're back in the present day. The present day in the past. Was that rept really Reptiris? She had a totally different vibe from now. And the nopal they took in. That was you. Uh-huh. As I live and breathe, you were a regular nopal back then. Uh-huh, I was. Just what on earth happened between then and now to both of you? I don't know either. But now Reptiras is all Fugi. Fug is so strong it literally took my breath away. What's Fug? Bug, maybe? Um, it's kind of hard to explain. It's like, on the one side, you have Fug, on the other, Radiance. And between them, unrelated stuff, like mixed together. Oh, okay. For example, Radica. There's Fug around her. And this Nopau is Radiant. Normally, it's the other way around. I guess I'm starting to see what you mean. Reptiras went from being a tender-hearted sorceress to being a Fugi evil witch. 
Anguis's memories and what you told us, Ilulu, have shed a bit of light on her dark mystery. Now everyone who's looking for her is here. It's all falling into place. I should be able to divine her whereabouts. Yes, let us hunt her down. The wise cards, show us where to find Reptiras. Pointing us towards the tower in the desert again. So she's in Dogma Tower. Ah, of course, she possesses the power of time, after all. She used it to go to the time I came from. Explains why they were never able to find his family. In re retrospect, your cards were telling us to go to the tower every time you asked them about Riptiras. Yes, that's true. This time we'll get her, though. Time for the final showdown. We'll find the root of all the evil which has twisted our destinies. First, we'll have to climb to the top of a tower. It's complete. This quest may be complete. We have more to go. He's a priest now. Find mom, I need to connect the past and the present. But how? How do I do this? Oh, isn't that... It is. It's him. Before he changed. This is it. Mom. Popo. Lost with no pal. Oh, pal -ku. Okay, presumably that is our no-pal. Now the timelines are tied together. My voice can reach Mom. Mom, please help me. Hurry, I'm in so much pain. Uh, this waterfall is most lovely. Most, most lovely. Kitty, do not eat your home. You will not have a home if you eat it. Why did Reptiras choose to go to the Dogma Tower of all places? Oh wait, the dialogue does not continue on its own. I could easily travel in time using the power of time which she stole from my village. There we go. I know how she did it, but what's nagging me is why. Come to think of it, I have no idea. Well, you're starving her? Yes. Well, she just chews on her box, like, pretty much anytime she wants anything, and also sometimes for no reason. Why would she head to some tower far in the future all of a sudden? Also, how did she come to know of the tower's existence? A tower built to seal away ter a terrible monster that we have already dealt with. Oh, I know. Witches love towers. The taller the better. Always find the final villain at the top of some ridiculously tall structure. I've been playing games too. Mom likes towers. You live and learn. Er, I mean, that was just my best guess. It seems so plausible to me. Iris is adorable. Ah, well, guys, let's go find Riptiras. Quest accepted. Now we must once more scale the tower. First we need food, so we'll run we'll run to Sarupa, grab food there. Oh, that's another cute kitty. Run to Sarupa, grab food, and then we'll scale the dogma tower. Search of Reptiras. Got a little cat scratch fever. Don't need to worry about conserving mana because we are heading off to heal. This is my dance. Don't I think she's the most useful in the tower, but then again, Deirdre doesn't have Naoi, so I think we're a little limited on who we can use to clear the enemies in the tower. They might be weak to Earth, in which case Aramis and uh, Nakoko will be fine, because Nakoko is Earth, unless you have a zone. And she switches to this element. Yes, feed, feed us. Feed us so we may go fight. We have much to do. I say much. I don't really remember how much we have. But we do have things to do. 
set out to complete the Celestial Tower today, and that's what I'll do. Unless I get too tired, and then I won't. Two hours and 30 minutes is a bit long for me to stream, but I will press on. We can do this. Once the map loads. Continue on, that is. Okay, Dogma Tower. Plaza where we left off before? Is that where we started? Okay, this is, I think, where we were before. That's nice, we didn't have to start at the bottom again. I thought we might have to. Oh, another Eden can be so kind to me. Just to make up for when, you know, you, you, do a, you do a nice ten pull and here you get no five stars, and four star that you get is like... Uh, you know what? I don't know, and I also don't know how to get there. So I'm thinking maybe I should stop here. Because I don't know how to get to the part we're trying to get to. I'm confused. No. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. So, we'll be done for now, actually. Here's Maui. Say hi, Maui. Oh, she didn't want to say hi. She wants to eat. But she's attacking me. So, despite saying that we will press on and I'll figure out how to do it, uh, we'll do that next time. We'll do that tomorrow. You were gonna have to go on a walk anyways. No, don't eat my earbuds, sweetie. It all works out for the best then, so. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for coming. Thank you for following Last Beacon. Thank you for, uh, for the raid, Neo Slash 72, and saying hello. Thank you for chatting, Grimthorpe. Uh, goodbye. <laughs>